What's going on everybody, welcome back. And we're gonna talk about that little fella right there today. So the Streamlight TLR7 Sub. So Streamlight has been a brand that I have carried and trusted for a very long time. If you don't know who that brand is, they've got all kinds of lights from everything from the big thousand lumen TLR1HL to the slightly smaller 500 lumen TLR7A. And the original TLR7, which just has different activation buttons. So being that slimline stuff like that Glock 43X MOS right here, has been becoming more and more popular, and especially with the addition of having the Shield Arms S15 mags, it effectively gives me something that's very small with a 15 plus one capacity, yet isn't so small I can't use it, and now I've got the option to have a light on it. The only kick in the pants, I'm waiting for a holster. But being that I've been carrying that thing more and more, especially now that we are into the summer months, I have been waiting for that TLR7 sub, and now I'm just waiting on a holster because that's going to be going with me a great many places because of the capacity, the size, and all of that good stuff. Well, let's go ahead and check out the specs on this stuff. Of course, we're gonna check out that low light footage so you guys can get a good idea of what that 500 lumen sub light looks like. It is a little bit of a different design than the TLR7, and I do have the SIG one as well, right there. So we will check out the SIG one as well as the Glock version of it, and just show you the design differences between the TLR7A and the TLR7 sub because it is slightly different both on the front and the uh, rear section of that light. If you guys have not, go ahead and get subbed up. Give the video a like if you are into it and definitely turn the bell notification icons on. If at any point you're interested in any of that stuff, I'll leave links down below for you guys to check that out. We're gonna go ahead and get into all the specs on that and then the low light footage right now. All right, let's jump right into this light. We're gonna go over the basic specs at first, then we're gonna do kind of a comparison to some other things so you guys get a really good idea size-wise how this differs from say the TLR7A and the TLR1HL, which is kind of their flagship full-size tactical light. So as far as this bad boy sits right here, this is 500 lumens. It gives off a very nice white light source. It's got an hour and a half runtime with uh, one CR123 battery, and the max candela is 5,000 candela. So candela is that punch, that distant, that really tight hot spot whereas lumens is kind of the overall um, brightness of the LED diode. So right now it only comes in black. Talking about the measurements here, so it is 2.51 inches in length, and it has a weight of 2.39 ounces in total. And the site does not list an actual diameter of the uh, light housing itself, but it is just over one inch in width for the actual total body housing at the widest point. At least that's what I found. So talking about how this differs from the TLR7A, and I'll use the SIG version that I've got right here and compare that directly to side-by-side -side the standard TLR7A. What you're gonna notice is a big difference in the not only the attachment point right here, but the tail cap and how the switches are on there. So the tail cap, is much, much shorter on the TLR7 sub than it is on the TLR7A. As far as working through the body, you'll see right there, there is a difference in both the dimensions of the body and then kind of how it is sloped forward right here. You can see it is quite a different design from the TLR7A. Definitely a little thinner, okay? The TLR7A is definitely a little chubbier on the right-hand side right here. And again, you'll notice the differences in the tail cap right there. It still does maintain that uh, auto that shutoff function up on the cover right there. If you turn it to where the open and closed circle are, it's like a quarter turn. You'll feel it kind of click into place, and then you'll know that your light is not activated. As far as the activator switches go, it is the same as the other TLR7 products. A quick hit of the tab turns it constant on, and then a press and hold is gonna to turn to momentary. So to give you guys an idea of the size differences here, this is the standard size kind of tactical light for a full size pistol setup. And we can take a good look at, oh, there it is, a good look at the, this one. So the TLR7A sub, you can see the size difference right there is substantial. Now what that is gonna cost you is, this light's 1,000 lumens and this light is 500. However, 500 is plenty of usable light. One of my favorite things about this is, is it seems to be with these switches, it's just right where my thumb is naturally gonna be. So all I have to do is just bring my thumb down slightly. 
So really love the high switches here on the Streamlight stuff. They've got a low switch version on some other models, just not my thing. Up here on the side, you're gonna notice this one has a GL right there and that stands for Glock. And then this one is gonna have SIG written on the side. They've got several other options, like I said, for Smith, h &K, the SIG, the Glock, a um, couple other things as well. So they've got a good overall, uh, a good overall coverage of the slimmer and the co micro compact stuff that is coming out these days. All right, let's check that low light footage. Let's talk price and talk about anything maybe I think could be a little bit better with this light. All right, so if this seems a little weird and broken up, it's because I legitimately forgot to film the low light footage. So I'll be adding that in right now. So first we're gonna do what I always do. We're gonna check out this hallway right here to give you guys a really good idea of how this light is gonna punch out standard hallway and then we're going to dump right into this room standard sized room here you're going to get a really good idea what 500 lumens that clear white light is going to look like so now we'll go ahead and punch out into the longest hallway right here this is through the hallway from the bedrooms through the tv room and that longest wall in the kitchen right there is 47 feet all the way to the wall from where i'm currently standing so you can get a really good idea of how 500 lumens is just really going to illuminate everything from here to there. All right, so you have seen that low light footage. Now it is a solid little light. It gives you everything the TLR7A, the TLR7 did before. 500 lumens, nice, clean, crisp white light. That positive identification is gonna be there for you. Now they're making this for the Glock. They're making it for the SIG, some Springfield stuff, some H&K stuff, some Smith & Wesson stuff. So they're coming out with a really good set of options for these like smaller subcompact, micro compact slim line where everyone seems to be going because they want that small EDC with that high capacity, which is like I said, why go with that 43X a lot of times in the hot weather? Because I got those 15 plus one round mags from Shield Arms. Now well, my two favorite things about these lights are gonna be those activation buttons. So the high switches on the TLR7A and the TLR7 sub, just seem to be right where my thumb wants to be when I'm activating that light. So that is definitely one of the best things I like for it. That 500 lumens seems to be a great sweet spot for most people out there. It's plenty usable. You don't need a thousand lumen light, although it's very nice to have a thousand lumens when you wanna really throw some light out there. 500 is gonna do most of everything that most of us need to do out there. Now, if there's one thing I had to nitpick on, I wish they could have got it just a little bit shorter. So I know you still gotta get a battery up in there and all that stuff, and you still have to get the switch housing on there, uh, but it's the same overall length as the TLR7A with the switches all the way to the front housing. A Little bit trimmer in the front and then has a different tail cap, which is a little bit stubbier. But I just wish, I mean, just, just a little bit shorter would have really fit that thing a little bit better. But hey, it's still a solid light for our slimline and subcompact needs. Let's go ahead and talk about that price. So right now that thing is coming in at 130 bucks, which is not bad at all because it is a solid light with a solid lumen rating and it's a definite quality brand. As I said up front, I have carried Streamlight for well over a decade at work with me, and I have never had them fail me. So if you guys are in the market for a slimline or a subcompact light, they have all of those models that I listed up front for that right around $130 price point. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about the TLR7 sublight here. Definitely one that will be sticking around for me. You guys get out there, have some fun on the range. Make sure you get subbed up. Give the video a like. Turn the bell notification icons on. Of course, check out Shall Not Comply for that sweet swag. They handle all the merchandise for the channel. So huge thank you to them. And a huge thank you to all of my Patreons. You guys get out there and remember if you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. And I will see you guys on the next one.